गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल टुडे वी विल डिस्कस हीट और मिस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन हीट और मिस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इट इज जनरली यूज फॉर सेफ डिटेक्शन ओके अनदर पॉइंट इट इज अ बाइनरी मॉर्फोलॉजिकल ऑपरेशन where we look the foreground pixels as well as the background pixels also so it is a binary morphological operation that can be used to look for patterns of foreground pixel as well as the background pixels so usually heat or mist transformation mein hum foreground pixels yani object pixels ka pattern ko to consider karte hi hain uske sath sath hum background pixels ka pattern ko bhi ऑब्जर्व करते हैं उसको भी कंसीडर करते हैं सो द बेसिक सिंबल ऑफ हीट और मिस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन द सिंबल ऑफ हीट और मिस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इट इज लुक लाइक दिस एंड द मैथमेटिकल इक्वेशन ऑफ हीट और मिस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इट इज गिवन एस आई हीट और मिस विद द स्ट्रक्चरिंग एलिमेंट एस इट इज गिवन एस आई इरोसन विथ द स्ट्रक्चरिंग एलिमेंट एस intersection with i complement erosion with w minus s where s uh, stretching element s we have used to uh, observe the pattern of uh, object pixels and w minus s we have used to observe the pattern of background pixels this equation in simplicity can be written like this i erosion with s1 intersection i complement erosion with s2 where s1 it is the set form from structuring element s considering the foreground pixel and s2 it is the set formed from structuring element s considering the background pixels okay so in usually in heat or mist transformation we have to first compute i erosion with i erosion with s1 in the second step we have to com compute i complement erosion with s2 and in the third step we have to take the intersection output of these two eroded outputs okay so let us discuss this with a example so consider this is my input image i 
this shaded portion it represent my foreground pixels it represent my object pixels and this unshaded portion it represent my background pixels so look at in this image i there are three object this is my object one with three cross three uh, object size this is my object 2 having the dimension 4 cross 4 and this is my object 3 having the dimension 5 cross 5 and this is my structuring element in the structuring element this shaded portion it represent the set uh, consisting of the foreground pixels and this white portion it represent the set belongs to my background pixels so in step 1 in step 1 we have to compute In step 1, we have to compute I erosion with S1. So considering this is my input image, okay, and this is my structuring element S, and since we have to consider the foreground pixels, so S and S1 both are same. So in S1, we have a center pixel which is added, and its 8 neighborhood pixels are also added. So, I erosion with S1, it means in the image I, we have to detect such center pixel whose center pixel it is shaded as well as its 8 neighborhood pixels are also shaded. Considering the shaded portion, it is logic 1 and unshaded portion, it is logic 0. So, in this input image I, we have to detect this pattern where the center pixel value, it is 1 as well as its 8 neighborhood pixel are also 1. So you, if you apply this condition where the center pixel value it is 1 and its 8 neighborhood pixel are also 1, on this input image I, you will find this pixel, these 4 pixels and these 9 pixels will satisfy the condition whose center pixel value it is logic 1 as well as its 8 neighborhood pixels are also logic 1. So since only these pixels satisfy this erosion condition and hence in my eroded output only these pixels will be considered as the part of my eroded output. So since my input image it is having the dimension 8 number of rows and 20 number of columns in order to draw the eroded output that is I erosion with the structuring element S1. Here, I, here also I have draw an output image consisting of 8 number of rows and 20 number of columns. And only these pixels will be the part of my eroded output. So let me mark all these pixels. So this is the output of I erosion with the structuring element S1. In step 2, we have to compute In step 2, we have to compute I complement erosion with S2. So look at my input image, 
in my input image i have already told this shaded portion it is my uh, object pixel considering the object pixel it is logic one and this white pixel it is my background pixel considering its logic level zero so in order to compute i complement this background pixels which is which is at logic zero in its complement i complement it becomes logic one so this background pixels so this background pixels in image i it is at the logic level zero so in i complement it becomes logic one that means it becomes shaded and since this shaded portion in my original image i it is at the logic level one so in the i complement so in the i complement this pixels becomes logic zero so ultimately this is my i complement and we have to consider and in this structuring element s we have to consider the set which consists of the background pixels since all these shaded portion it represent the object pixels the background pixels the complement of this s is represent the background of this structuring element s so here i have consider here i have consider the complement of the given structuring element s and now this shaded pixels it represent the background of the given object pixels in this structuring element s so now we have to compute the i complement with s2 it means we have to detect this pattern where the center pixel value we have to detect those center pixels whose 5 cross 5 it is logic 1 so if you apply this erosion condition on this i complement image you will find only one pixels that is this pixel is satisfying the condition whose 5 cross 5 matrix it is logic 1 so only this pixel will be the part of my eroded output so again since my i complement it having the dimension 8 number of rows with 20 number of columns so in order to draw the eroded output here also i made an output image having 8 number of rows and 20 number of columns and let me draw this eroded output i complement erosion with s2 so only since only this pixel it satisfying the erosion condition so only this pixel it is the part of my eroded output so this pixel let me mark this pixel so so far we have computed i erosion with s1 we have also com uh, computed i complement erosion with s2 next we have to compute the intersection operation so now look at the output of both So now if you look at the output of i erosion with s1 and if you compare the output of i erosion with s1 with i complement erosion with s2 you will find only one pixels which satisfying which is present in both this eroded output and it is this pixels only this pixel only this pixel it is present both in i erosion with s1 and in i complement erosion with s2 so only this pixel will be the part of my intersection output
सो इन स्टेप थ्री वी हैव टू कंप्यूट आई इरोशन विथ एस वन इंटरसेक्शन विथ आई कंप्लीमेंट इरोशन विथ एस टू एंड ओनली वन पिक्सल ओनली वन पिक्सल विल सेटिस्फाई दिस इंटरसेक्शन कंडीशन and which is this pixel so this pixel it represent the location of so this pixel it represent the location of this object pixels with this background pixel set in the input image i so in the input image i this pixel it represent only this center pixel at this center pixel this corresponding object as well as this corresponding background set it is present in my input image i thank you